Greetings, my friends. This is Gilles Mancillon. I come back to speak about the spiritual aspect of life, or this is something that is quite, uh, quite not new in the human consciousness. There's always been some spirituality, but it, uh, it was never dominant. Now we're moving towards an age that will be much more spiritual. For what we seek, what we seek is, if we seek God, we have to find it in our heart. And for that, we need to calm down make silence within our mind and little by little the higher mind will come down to make revelation and align you with your higher self. And if you don't feel anything, if you don't hear anything, if you don't see anything, you still have to be perseverant in calling on God, to asking him to validate your spiritual ascension, to validate the connection um, that will come eventually. Eh? And then I don't want to say too much about that because it is surprising when, it's, when all the doors open to those higher planes. What is very important to understand is that we, we need, as soon as we have 51% of our, of our karma that is, uh, that is cleared, then we start our ascension, we're starting receiving, feeling, we're starting to have confirmation, we're starting to, to ascend. Huh? It's very, and then, then once we complete 100% of our karma, we complete our ascension. For that, the 51% was negotiated in the past, it wasn't the case. You needed to complete 100% of your karma before you could even begin to your ascension. But now, uh, in order to make ascension possible for humanity, Lord Saint-Germain had uh, negotiated that with the karmic board. So... But in, in terms of limiting karma, we, we left the most difficult for the end. Huh? For me, I feel like a lot of the things I was dealing with that were so intense and difficult yesterday have been cleared during the sleep. I had, I had six hours sleep, which is quite unusual right now. Um, I, I will soon take a vacation so I can catch up before I have all those like work to do. But uh, um, so, so it's like I feel like this morning everything was cleared up, everything was settled, everything was clear. And then, then and the, the astral plane and the energetic and the telepathy and the communication started again and like it became a little bit heavy. So I had to say, well, spirit said to say temperate. To be temperate means to have the dominant part, the light to be, to be moderated, not to make fixed judgment or be severe in our critical position in relationship to past situation or judgment. In the Republic of Plato, at some point, Socrates was, uh, was somebody tells Socrates, a young philosopher, who said, uh, say, I am a master of myself. And Socrates, in his usual uh, way of doing things, being said, of responding, said, well, if you, have, if, if you are master of yourself, a part of you must be a slave of yourself. And then uh, Socrates continues and explains that the soul has two parts, a light part and a dark part. So, so it's like when, when the light part is dominant, you are master of yourself, you are temperate. When the dark part becomes dominant, you are intemperate, you become a slave of yourself. So, so it is important to slay um, to stay as, as, uh, as light and moderate as possible. I wanted to, ex to apologize for my appearance in terms of my teeth. It's like I will see a dentist as soon as I can get one and afford it. For, it doesn't really bother me. I can eat normally, but um, I had this dental problem, dental accident. And so, um, uh, but it does bother me when I watch this video. I say, well, these people see that and they may be distracted from my message. So I, I've always liked to, to enjoy to, to dress very well, better than average, and by living on a, in a suitcase for three years. So I'm doing the, the, the best I can with the situation. So, but this will all be solved hopefully very soon. So you want to be love and light only, eh? eventually, eh? to achieve, and that is through the compassion, the lucidity, and the courage we, we expand. But we do need to integrate both light, light and darkness. First, we need to move from the impure to the pure. We need to make only ethical decisions. And, and that is slowly coming as we become aware of the little things, we can fix it. We, we need to move from ignorance to lucidity. Once we achieve that point of lucidity, we connect to our higher self. We're sure about the, the, our true nature, essence and nature as an eternal being. We have, we have to return into the universe of form and, and, and integrate both darkness and lucidity by always be the light dominant over the, to utilize darkness and ignorance for spiritual evolution, but not to be dominated by it. For I know my, my, my soul connection is like there is a light side and a dark side, and I have to integrate both and love both. So it, it, it is very challenging. But, um, but, but so, so we do need first to abandon all darkness to elevate ourselves into the light, but then we need to, to reintegrate the light to vibrate at the, eventually the frequency of truth. For God, is, as God is God, and it will always be God. But in the universe, there is a, there is a, 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 a evolution happens between there is the, the 
between the polarity and the dynamism of evolution between the darkness and the light and we we, we are both huh? we have both we have the human nature which is ignorant and the universal divine nature that is all knowing and we cannot just fuse and merge in just because we decide for first god is we cannot discover god within our, our critical human ego mind it's just we, we can discover it through the sacred books or philosophy or the ideas and ideals of God, but the experience of God will only come through the heart. Eventually, the higher mind will... will, will, will you can use the mind of Jesus if your mind doesn't work, or, the, the, or, or any higher mind, call on the archangels to assist you. For the nature of the universe is about dark and light, and it's the yin and the yang. There is the light within the dark and the dark within the, within the light. But uh, once we resolve that, uh, that within ourselves, we are assisting the whole of humanity. We're doing it for, for not just for humanity, even on the, on the galactic planes. It is of service, this integration of both dark and light. And because as we do that, this transmutation of darkness into light within ourselves, it, it anchors into the collective subconscious. There is the subconscious. It's like those things that are unconscious that keeps coming up, and there's a lot of fear. Fear needs to be discharged. And as we do that for ourselves, we're assisting the whole of humanity. Because a lot of the karma and exp dark experiences or heaviness that we experience, I realize it's not, it's not personal karma we didn't cause it personally ourselves but god knows that we can handle it and we're doing a great deal of service in relationship to all the collective uh, sleeping population so uh, so it is a service that we we do when we accept to go through certain things and um but God does not expect us to be perfect. That being said, the first command, because we, we all come from the great sphere of light, we are a little light, and the little light was sent into the darkness to explore the darkness, and then eventually to come back to the great light. But uh, it's like the first command is, be you perfect, as your Father in heaven is perfect. Yet God knows that we cannot achieve that perfection. God is infinite per perfection, and, but he will always find things for us to work on. Because, uh, as we, but we do need to, to work on ourselves, and uh, and some people are asking me about. Um, uh, well, first, I want to say we need to we need to imagine what is that we do that will not be in alignment with our ascended master self, our angelic self. For those things, a story but surely needs to be relinquished in order to to, to already be in the in, in the attitude of our ascended master self. Somebody asked me about the language of light. The language of light is the feeling state. It is also telepathy and. When we start hearing, if you don't start hearing, viewing, or, or feeling this higher divine, supreme love, energy, higher mind, higher state, do not worry. It is something that you, you need to have face and face and face and continue to, to always turn to that source. And eventually it breaks up, it opens up, and it comes down, and it is so wonderful. doesn't mean the completion of the program, but it means that you are supported, you know, you receive all the way to the point where you give your whole energy to that higher form, that higher state. While balancing the, while balancing the energy of the physical life, um, but everything that does not resonate with your higher self eventually will relinquished. And uh, there is many language of light. Every higher civilization have their own language. There, there was a great, a great breakthrough in terms of holographic uh, or galactic language. At some point, the Arcturians, when the Arcturians made their ascension, they went to the Alpha Centaurians for for technological, uh, psychic uh, technologies. Maybe I'll, I'll talk about this later, the, the result. But, but what happened is that they are, they are because the, the Alpha Centaurian was so advanced, and, so they, and, and they, both, they, they, they managed to create a new form of holographic communication that was quite unexpected, but just uh, that was really made, made the whole galactic telepathic connection a, a lot greater, deeper, they went farther into it, so so there there is the holographic um, telepathy that is happening, and uh, and and each uh, of course there is a universal language that we will have to learn as we ascend into the higher planes, and then as we break through to the the super universe, there is also a super universe language that we'll also learn as we grow. But um, right now, if you speak, if you, if your speech is always kind and firm and, and solid and light and love, um, then that is a light language as well. Eh? So just be to, to, to be true. The Arcturians were mentioning that everything that comes out of our body, the words that comes out, the thoughts that come out, 
the action that we do, everything is actually accelerating the development of our light body or slowing it down. Just as everything that comes into our bodies is accelerating or slowing it down. So it's just, um, just what I, I, I talk about this. So it's very good. as much as possible, be calm. Eliminate all the things that are that are the stimulant that makes you agitated. It's not easy. I love coffee. It's like oh, <laughs> I love to do, but I know it's it's not. Easy. At some point, I have to to make a big break from coffee. Maybe just take coffee once a week only, yeah? and uh, and to be posed, to be seated in your I am presence, in your empowerment. Also, one to say there is the, the physical activation. You know, crystallization of our cells, of our light bodies, is actually in the works, whether we know it or not. Personally, I have those wings that are, those little wings that are growing outside of me, my light body, and it's really painful. So, so the, the, this is one thing, we'll drink a lot of water, of course, so it's just fluidify and, and clears up all the, the emotion and the, the hydraulic system within ourselves. But it's to, if you have pain, physical pain, that you feel it's like a growing pain, um, is, is to ask the angels and the archangels to desensitize the nerve before you take pills to, to get rid of the pain. Because this morning was really hard, and I just asked the archangels to, to do that, and then three minutes later, I was fine. I didn't need to take any, any pharmaceutical or anything like that. So that can be really useful to, to work with that, understanding that even in, within our brain, then, there is, there is new neural pathways that needs to be created as, as both of our hemisphere of our brain is being activated. The cerebellum will be activated, and, but there is new pathway that we've never used before in this lifetime. And so, so it's like reactivation and the neck and in all the body, it's like sometimes it's aching. So, so it's like if you can exercise, it's always good. There was five light bodies that have been uh, designed for humanity. The most famous is called the Merkaba. But they are Four other ones. Mine is a unique. I mean, they've been shown this. My light body. It was on the 11th of November, 2011, at 11:11 in the morning. I will always remember that. Maybe once my light body is fully activated, I will. I won't need this memory. But now I saw it. It was like so amazing. I was like ready to to traverse the universe with it. And it's like it just stopped there. And it's like spirit says, "Hey, you want it all now, huh?" <laughs> Like with a little laugh, you know, it's like, yeah, I want it all now, but I couldn't get it all now. But I was shown that it was so amazing. The spirit has announced the end. It is the end, really, of the uh, of the cycle for me. It's like really, uh, it's really the end of the cycle, and so so I'm I'm ready. So it'll be very fun. I'm, it's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of decisions to be made. I'm also going to discuss a few ideas. For it is very important to transcend the fear and to keep your mind void, calm, serene as much as possible. The observer of the day is, a, is milk and honey. It's all about the good life. It's all about... Um, I'm not going to talk about that. It's uh, the, the, the political systems right now. It's not about good life for all the citizens. Huh? It's, uh, it's, it's becoming so far away from that. And they say, oh, we're not responsible for that. We're going we're gonna to impose new laws, new taxes. Your, your life will be better as you're more, you have more taxes, more low, restrictive laws and all that. It's like, yeah, there, there's a lot of insanity, totally bananas that we live in this end of time. The highest wisdom is the young. Too. We're going to need to activate this divine will and authority and to act upon the, the stage in order to change things, to put things back on the, on the track. What we need to understand is not for you. To understand those things that are not for you, some people need to, we need to let them go. If, they, if they're meant for us, they will come back in the right time. But we need to let go of many things. What we need to do is nothing is better than your home, to feel good, to, to create the best possible environment and to feel good in our body. I know I have some transmutation to do in my physical body. Can't wait to start swimming again. I know that's going to really, really help. I haven't swim in a couple of years. And, uh, and also Spirit says I'm going to have a home, so it's going to be really nice to be able to be creative, paint, receive, and all do all that. And the outcome is co-creation. So, so it's, it's, we are co-creating together and we're co-creating with the higher planes and also with the creator. Eventually we'll become full creator, but right now we're just co-creator. And with, with each other too, every, single, every time we come into communication, we come into contact, we're co-creating by the power of our intention. And so uh, personally I want to say that, boy, maybe not as important to say it in English here, but I'm going to be implicated, I have to, no choice to be implicated on a, on a high level to this political system here in France. But um, as, 
as a spiritualist, we have to stay above all political differences to that divine neutrality, but I have no choice. It's all about being Cartesian. It means to, to federate consciousness around a common idea, certain things we can agree upon, raise the quality of our life, obtain more freedom, to, to elevate the, the quality of the environment, to, 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 be, to be able to work in something that makes us feel good, that brings enough resources, serves the community in a good environment, all kinds of things is going to... A lot of also a lot of um, agreements that have been made by the French government is going to have to. I'm going to do like a, it's a bit what Donald Trump did when he came into power. It's just certain things we're going to have to renegotiate. I'm sorry, it's like we, some things that just don't work for us. And uh, uh, in, in order to, to, to in order to serve France and the French the French people, uh, it's going to be very important. And all the, the so so it's like my position in relationship to to Europe is like we're going to have to change it or leave it. And it's not it's not about Brexit, Brexit or whatever. It's, it's we change it or we oh we oh we have to leave it. It's like because Europe would be a wonderful thing if it was only consult it was a consultant to the nation state rather than a, a, an executive power that imposes its laws. Let's say that if a nation state needs Europe to, to, to coordinate its effort with another nation state, then it asks Europe and Europe facilitates, create a facilitation. And if the politics becomes more fused and, and with another country, then we can actually become closer. But not to be imposed uh, uh, rules by people that have never been elected, that self-elected themselves, uh, and uh, they, it's, it's completely insane what is going on with this—the uh, the waste of money that is uh, the resources and, and, and their positioning in relationship to certain things is just completely insane. Just as the French Constitution needs to be raised, a lot of reform that needs to be done will no longer will not work in the Fifth Republic here. So we're going to have to to upgrade up our constitution to adapt to the, the necessity of the new time. And so, uh, and to make, like, like, I heard that Donald Trump was asked uh, Elon Musk to do a great audit upon all the federal government agencies. We're going to need to do that in France. All the administrations, so there is a lot of administration in France. It's very heavy in administration. It costs so much money and it's so heavy and it's like so difficult and makes life so hard for everybody. There are some good things that we need to keep, but there are certain things that we need to change. So we're going to need to make a giant audit. It will cost a bit of money, and then also have more consultative power of all the, the citizens. Well, I'm going to pull a few cards. The, the observer, from the Akash perspective, the, the observer is the arts, to enjoy the arts or to create. The highest wisdom is to free ourselves from all the tyrannies and to let go of the authorities from the outside, to not, not, to, be the, the, not to fall into the victim mentality. We can change it from the point we detach from that, we escape that, uh, that slavery and imprisonment. And for that, we need to understand that we are the authority and to rely upon our higher self for, to guide us towards the, the, the wisdom that we seek in order to, uh, to embrace the situation and resolve it. What we need to, to do is Asia, to be serene, to be like a Buddha, to be like lucid and serene. You know that you have a Buddha within yourself. Since you have God, you have all things within yourself. And Buddhism is not a religion. There is a religious aspect, a religious community, but it is a science and an art. If you follow the, the teachings of, of wisdom that the Buddha explains, we will find liberation. And the outcome is the phobies. It's the ability to confront all our fears. We need to confront all our fears to be to to, to transcend them. Huh? So it's like uh, as we, we as we allow ourselves to be free from the enslavement and uh, and imprisonment, we find the vessels. We're going to be able to travel the great a new adventure of freedom and enjoyment and share the share those experiences. And as we let go of our fear, we'll find wisdom. Wisdom will come naturally huh? as we every little steps we make is being recorded by a higher self and the universe. And 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 we are every time. We let go of something inferior. God gifts us with something superior. So do not be impatient in relationship to the experience of the spiritual things. Just stay focused, stay focused, and eventually it will come. It is quite a, for me. It's like it is, it's becoming. A, I mean, I, I've opened up to this. This my soda I opened up in the early '90s. So it's been unfolding and unfolding and unfolding. And now all those things that I do on the the other planes as a, as a spirit is becoming. 
I want more, of course, but it, it's becoming like I'm becoming familiar with that. So, so it's like, uh, and I feel like everybody's also feeling that, but no, not necessarily. Sometimes I'm interacting with souls. I'm not really sure their human counterpart is actually being, they've been affected, but they're not necessarily conscious of what is going on up there. And then there is a higher level, which I'm not connect, I'm not conscious of that is even guiding the plants. And even that, is, even a higher self has a higher self. Only God does not have a higher self because he is the highest, the highest self of all beings. The grand universe, the supreme being is the higher self of the grand universe, just as the, the, the ultimate, God the ultimate, is the, is the higher self of the, of the master universe, the, the future universe, when the universe will expand into infinity. But you know, it's pretty big, but it's just at the beginning of its expansion in truth. Well, I hope this message was interesting for you. And just this God escaped it, men and women. We, eventually, we're gonna we're gonna have to reconcile those two parts and to find. Right now, we're asking to be temperate, not take too firm position, not to be too severe in relationship to our relationships. And so, uh, thank you so very much for your for your donations. Thank you so very much for following the channel. And I'm gonna sing a song. It's an old song that's quite meaningful. It's 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 all about. It's an old song that talks about the end of war, about enlightenment. When will it come? And uh, a song of Bob Dylan. It's called "Blowing in the Wind." How many roads must a man walk down before you can call him a man? How many seas must a white dove sail before she sleeps in the sand? How many times must the cannonball fly before they forever bend? The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind. How many years can a mountain exist before it is washed to the sea? Yes, how many years can some people exist before they're allowed to be free? Yes, how many times can a man turn his head and pretend that he just doesn't see? The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind. Yes, how many times must a man look up before he can see the sky. Yes, how many years must one man have before he can hear people cry? Yes, how many deaths will he take till he knows that too many people have died? The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind. So this song reminds we have to let give time to time. Huh? Time will, will unfold. Time will. Uh, but but the death is part of life. There is nothing to fear about death. But brutal death, war, and all that. We need we need to to to, to respect our natural cycle and have people die from natural death when it is the time they have something else to do on other planes. So it's like do not fear death in any way. And death is a liberation. Yes, we, we while we're here, we need to to make this life liberated as much as possible. The the observer of the day is authenticity to sign on self be true. As our friend Hamlet used to remember, used to tell us, the highest wisdom is energy becoming one, the matician and the world of energy, the cause. We are the divine will in action and to, to regain our consciousness, our power, to affect this single thought that is connected to, the, to this oneness, to this divine, to this authority can transform. So it's very powerful. I've been, I've been seeing that and God is showing me that. With him, it's like so much can be done, can be changed when we align with... Uh, we, we, 
we are aligned with this higher function. What we need to understand is the work. There is a lot of work still yet to be done. A lot of uh, uh, it's going to be enjoyable. I know this work is coming for me. It's like there is a key. It's like it's going to unlock so much potential and joy. What we need to do is um, is success. Continue to to know to recognize the success as something that's already here, even if it's not manifested yet. And the outcome will be accomplishment. We're going to leave this world a much better place than we left, uh, than, than than we we found it, huh? because we, we because of the work we've done. So what the success means is is not to be too severe, to be indulgent, and not so much indulgent with ourselves, but indulgent with others. <laughs> Just as a, but we we, we need we, we need to stay online for ourselves, but not to be expecting so much. Uh, of others, what we, what we need to, so that is what the victory is, is to, to, to be able to achieve this balance. Of, um, what is it we want to achieve is to hold the globe of creation and to, to, to work with, the, to live with the flow of, of the, the divine, to, to move with the flow of the divine, to intervene, to create magic happening. So we make, a, we, we resolve situation, we make shortcuts, we, we show the way, we show the light and, and to be creative for ourselves. And what will assist us on the way to, on the way to victory on the way to success is complementarity. We need each other. The, the, we were very important. To, we all complementary in this great puzzle of life. So we all need to be empowered, to be in our oneness, to be in our connectivity, and to work together. Very soon we'll be all connected telepathically, but we all already are on the soul level. But, but it would be too much if we were connected to the whole of life. It would be too confusing. So, so the, our God self always, always filters things out so that we everything that's important that we need to deal with is always being dealt with but but we are complementing the world and the world has to complement us and eventually we're going to move into this this harmonious connection within the world on the outside plane because the eventually the inner and the outer will be in fusion in the alignment for now we're still uh, as we clear the inside the, the outside will have no choice but to follow and huh? just so be patient and be kind be courageous be compassionate be lucid be wise and be loved. I thank you so very much. Salad.